Verilog is a hardware description language, or HDL, used to model electronic systems. Like VHDL, IEEE maintains the standards for this, and it is standard IEEE 1364. Verilog first appeared on the scene in the 1980s, and we are currently working with the 2005 standard. Our discussion here serves as an introduction. It's not a complete treatment of the language. I suggest giving section 210 a close read and look at figures 233 through 238 to get a feel for the structural and data flow descriptions in this language. It's also helpful to do a little bit of work with tools such as EDA Playground to get more familiar with uh, both Verilog and VHDL. For this presentation, we return to our 2-bit greater than comparator circuit. Assuming that A and B are made up of 2 bits each, this circuit will tell us whether A is greater than B. We begin with structural descriptions to replace the schematic. We'll then look at the data flow and behavioral models. We begin by looking at the structural description. Notice that it's a bit shorter than VHDL. Line 1 and 2 are the comments, which are formatted exactly like C++ comments. Keywords are in bold, and there are semicolons that are used to terminate statements, so the syntax should look pretty familiar to you. Line 3 begins the declaration of the module, which is the fundamental building block in Verilog. Line 15 terminates the module with the keyword end module. Next come the inputs, which are vectors A and B, followed by the output A greater than B. Inputs and outputs can take on four types of values, 0, 1, X for unknown, and Z for high impedance values, on the output of three-state logic. You can also add signal strength if you desire. There are 14 gate primitives in Verilog. Buff is a buffer which has a function z is equal to x with x as an input and z as an output. The other ones that are of interest to us are and, or, nand, nor, xor, and not. Before we specify the gates, we need to name all the nets in the circuit. We've already taken care of the input and output, and we'll use wires for the internal net. After the wires, we name the gates. Each instance consists of a gate name, and we enclose the outputs and inputs inside parents, with the output coming first in the list. Now let's look at the data flow description. A data flow description describes the circuit in terms of function, rather than structure, and is made up of concurrent assignments or their equivalent. This particular data flow description uses assignment statements. As with other data flow descriptions, the order of execution does not depend on the order of the appearance in the model, but on the order of changes to the signals on the right-hand side of the assignment statements. Data flow models with concurrent assignment statements are considered behavioral descriptions because they describe the function without the structure. You can also use sequential statements for this, and we'll see that a little bit later on in the text. Another behavioral description technique is the conditional operator, which is given by a question mark. In line 6, if A is greater than B is true, then the variable is assigned the value of 1, B1. Otherwise, A greater than B is assigned the value of 1, prime, B0. A test bench is an HDL model whose purpose is to test another model, often called the device under test. In the test bench, we apply stimuli to the inputs and observe the outputs. This figure shows a simple Verilog test bench for the 2-bit comparator circuit. Note that the module declaration does not have any input or output ports. The test bench declares the registers and wires that will be connected to the inputs and outputs of the device under test and instantiates the device under test. After begin, we apply combinations of inputs to test the device under various conditions. This test is by no means complete, but does cover the three major conditions of A is less than B, A is equal to B, and A is greater than B. The other thing to note here is the use of the pound which specifies a delay. In this case, our delay is 10 time units, and this gives us time to have the changes take effect. Thank you as always for watching. This is a pretty brief introduction to Verilog, so take a look at the examples in section 210 of the text, and spend a bit of time playing with EDA Playground. See you on La Lima.